Rock Guys would like to welcome Lorraine Lewis, Femme Fatale. Hey, what's going on today, Lorraine? Good morning. I'm barely awake. I'm drinking coffee, and I'm so happy that you called me. How's it going, Brian? Good. Very <laughs> good. Good day today. Nice nice weather here, finally, after uh, a bitter cold, but uh, it's getting up there. So let's go back to the first CD, uh, the self-titled CD, uh, back in 1988. Uh, you know, you sold over 200,000 copies or more, and... Um, that was just the start of it. Um, can you tell me what it was like back in that day? Oh, God, it was so exciting. Well, first of all, you know, it's been 25 years. <laughs> wow. I can't, I can't even believe it. Yeah, this year, 2013, it's 25 years ago that the record came out. So that in itself is scary and amazing at the same time uh that even people uh still remember the band and and love the band it's really pretty cool um but those were great times i mean getting a record deal coming to la wanting to get a record deal and getting a record deal is really really a great thing and then teaming up with a, a great uh management company and record company and the rest is history <laughs> that's awesome Right, right. Um, tell me, you know, some of the highlights from them tours. Well, highlights, you know, we toured with Cheap Trick, and we were really honored to be on tour, tour with them. It was the Flame Tour, and uh, just being around Robin, Robin Vander and the rest of the gang, you know, we learned a lot of things from them because it was the first time we had ever been on tour. And, uh, you know, one of the things I learned from Robin was, that, I mean, he didn't talk during the day. He was very quiet. He didn't say a thing um, until showtime. Wow. And then he would just blow you away with his amazing voice. So those kinds of things were really cool. And then uh, I remember some really good times in New Orleans partying with them. And uh, they were great to us. They let me use their monitor system. We were kind of a baby band, and I think having a chick in the band, they, they really rallied behind us. It was, it was a really great time. Really, really good. Cool, cool. Was there anything particular on your tour rider uh, back in those days? <laughs> well, we had lots of liquor, of course, and then at the end of the show, if we didn't drink it all, of course, we would load it up on to the bus and take it to the next town. Um, I am really healthy, um, even though back then I would drink a lot of Jack Daniels and Corona, but um, I still consider myself really healthy, and so I had weird things on my rider like rice cakes and <laughs> and jam and things like that so it was kind of annoying i think to uh, a lot of people in the midwest because um i don't think that they knew what a rice cake was back then <laughs> cool <laughs> some people don't know now you know <laughs> so um okay and let's get into the second release that actually never made it lady in waiting um you could hear some of the tracks yet on, on the internet and stuff like that. Are, are, is that material um, shelved now forever, or, or could that ever, you know, make its way? I don't know. I have a copy of it right here on my desk. It's great music. Um, some of the songs were written by me and Jack Conrad, who wrote some hits for Heart. I also wrote with Wes Arkeen, who was considered the fifth member of Guns N' Roses. Right. Um, you know, I, it's a really good record, but it's it's basically a live recording. Um, it was the demos that MCA uh wanted us to do to get ready to go in to do the next record um so i don't really know if it'll ever be released i mean i know a lot of people would love that uh but the actual songs that i have right now i mean it was a snake in into a, a um a board and then we were in the room doing live recordings right. so it's you know it sounds really raw which is really cool, um, but I don't know if I'm going to ever release that. Um, right now, I'm really just focused on the record, uh, you know, the CD from Femme Fatale back in 1988, right. and also on, you know, the band. Right. I've put a new band together, and we're getting ready for the Monsters of Rock Cruise, so it's really all about the first record right now and getting those songs really tight. They haven't been performed in 25 years, right. so... Wow. I got to make sure that it kicks ass. Cool. So that's really my my primary concern right now is just making sure that we super duper kick ass. Cool, cool. Tell me a little bit about the new band, all female. 
all female, lots of chicks, lots <laughs> of boobs and blonde hair. It's awesome. Um, I have Nita Strauss and Courtney Cox um, shredding for me on guitar. Uh, both of those girls also play in the Iron Maidens. So I'm really happy to have them on board. Um, we secured a deal working together Oh, gosh, it was last March when I first found out that we were going to be, that Femme was going to be added to the Monsters of Rock cruise. I contacted uh, Nita and Courtney and asked them to be my guitar players, and they were very excited. And uh, so we, you know, we secured that deal back in March. And then on drums, I have Rachel Ryan, who is in a band called Cockpit. And on bass, I have Janice Tanaka, who toured with Pink, and she was also in L7. And then I have a keyboard player that is awesome. She's a great singer. Her name is Kat Scarlett. And then as my surprise special superstar guest, I have Athena um, also playing drums. She will join us for a few songs during the Femme Fatale set. And she is also a star of uh, the TV show Ex-Wives of Rock, which is um, a show that I co-created and co-produced uh, with Lisa Brucker and LPL Productions. Yeah. Great. So, have you watched it yet? Not yet, but I will, because you told me about it. It's yeah. Friday night on the Fuse Network. It's 10.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time, 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. And it's a wild ride with some awesome, over-the-top women uh, that have lived it all. And uh, it's a wild ride. you got to tune in. It's I, We don't script the show. We just follow our women, and they are complete and utter madness. It's wow. awesome. Cool, cool. Rock and roll all the way. Cool. Now, th this uh, lineup, did anybody have to audition, or you handpicked everybody? I handpicked everybody. Um, I knew um, I knew all these girls. I mean, I, Rachel is from New Mexico, um, and I, we've talked about working together a lot of times over the years. Um, Athena has played with me before in Ellie Nookie, and, uh, yeah, I just... I knew that they would be great, and then we got in the room, and it was even better than I could have imagined. Nita and Courtney, when they showed up uh, for the first time to play, uh, I mean, they knew every solo note for note, and, yeah, they're badasses. So, yeah, it's good. I'm telling you, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me, are you working on uh, material, or is it done, or what's up with that? Uh, new material, you mean? Yes. No, right now, we ha we are not working on uh, anything new other than the record, and then we've also added to the set, we've added a song called Chains, which is a song that I sang in the Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead uh, movie, and then we have a couple of, of covers that, you know, a couple of songs that I really personally like, and, uh, and then as far as new material, Courtney has come up with um, some really brilliant guitar riffs um, that she's brought into rehearsal. But really, right now, we're focused on the original record. Um, that will be later, you know. That'll be after we get the cruise under our belt. Then um, then it'll be time to work on some new music. Cool. That's cool. the plan. Also, March 8th, uh, I think you're playing with Kicks at the Key Club? Yes. Yeah, we're so excited. We're direct support for Kicks on the uh, on the Sunset Strip at the Key Club. And, uh, yeah, that's the West Coast Monsters of Rock kickoff party. So that's going to be awesome. That'll be, uh, you know, about eight days before we get onto that cruise ship, which I'm really nervous about. Cool. <laughs> I've, I've never been on a cruise. I have no idea what to expect. I'm really freaked out, actually. But um, I don't know. I'm just going to roll with it drink a lot and hopefully it'll be okay <laughs> i don't know so you know what went through your mind to, to bring back femme fatale well it really wasn't my idea to bring it back um i you know i'm very busy with my tv show um very busy with other projects that i'm doing and uh i got a phone call from sullivan big who is a promoter and said that they wanted to add femme fatale to the monsters of rock cruise and, you know, we lost, uh, Femme Fatale lost its guitar player, Bill D'Angelo, five years ago. He passed away. And, you know, my thought was, you can't replace Bill. Um, and, you know, the keyboard player, Mozzie, is working for a Fortune 500 company. And my brother, the bass player, had really gotten married. And the drummer, Bobby, is in another band. And I just thought, you know... It would be great if everybody was still on the planet and could, you know, we could just 
put the, the original members together. But after thinking about it and Bill being gone, I just thought, you know, I just want to do something completely different so that people aren't looking at all these guys up there wondering if they're the original members of the band. It's like it's so obvious with all chicks that we're not the original members of the band, and that's what I wanted to do. Right. You know, it's like, look. Don't anybody wonder, no, we're not the original members. Don't ask me the question, um, because we're all chicks. And right. that's, you know, and it's cool. And who doesn't like chicks? So that was my plan. So, uh, and now, you know, I mean, there's talk about M3. I know that um, they've announced that Wasp is going to be on that uh, that date. And I know that they've announced all of the bands. But um, I also know that there's some other stuff going on behind the scenes. And, you know, we just might show up at M3 as well and some other one-off dates. So we'll just, you know, we'll just work with it. I'm just rolling with everything. Uh, I also sang for the uh, Rating the Rock Vault. It's a big show that just got picked up in Las Vegas. And uh, I performed with them in Los Angeles in November. So you know, I might be jumping on that as well. So I'm really busy. I have to drink lots of coffee. <laughs> I'm really, really, really busy. Um, and then, you know, the TV show, and uh, we also have three other shows in development right now. So, dude, I'm trying to build an empire here. Cool, cool, cool. Now, when uh, getting the all-female, um, you know, lineup and stuff, did other bands, female bands, come into mind? Like, you know, we could be like them or like the Runaways or whatever or, or anything well, for your mind? All of those bands, the Runaways, I mean, they're, they were trailblazers. They're amazing. Um, uh, Vixen, amazing. They're my friends. Um, I would have always, uh, you know, back in the day, I would have loved to put an all-girl band together. But um, honestly, there really weren't that many great female players that I knew of um, at the time. You know, Vixen got them all. Uh, so it was a really tough thing to try to accomplish. Um, but now, you know, here we are 25 later, and, you know, the market is saturated with amazing, talented, hot women. So it was just an easy an easy thing to do for me. Um, and also Femme Fatale having the respect that it does. Um, even though we didn't sell a million records, a lot of people know who we are, and a lot of people know those songs. So, you know, then you, you talk to girls, I mean, like, Nita and Courtney, they're 23 years old. Right. I mean, they're, they're really young, you know. Um, so, you know, they're, they're hot, great players. They're young, and they're really, uh, they have a lot of energy, and I love that. And, uh, yeah, just kind of a no-brainer. It, it really made sense to me. And um, I, I'm not trying to necessarily compete with anybody else because I just don't think that that, I just don't do that. But I just wanted to put something together that was just amazing. I mean, I want people's jaws to drop when we come out and hit the stage and it's like, whoa, they look great, but most importantly, they shred. And, you know, I just want to crush when we come out. That's the goal. Cool. just want to crush. Cool. Now, will this? Uh, will you continue the tour through the East Coast and whatever? There's been a lot of talk about doing that. I think the plan will be. You know, look, I'm way too old to be in a in a beat up van touring across the country at this point in my life. Uh -huh. um, so I think the plan is to do some fly in dates. Uh, they've. Um, my manager, Joe Sutton, has also been getting some phone calls um, from Europe and the U.K. So um, I think summertime will be the time to hit hit some tour dates, um, possibly the U.K., possibly the East Coast. But um, I think the biggest thing right now is doing Monsters of Rock Cruise, and then I think the buzz will be really, really big uh, about the band and wanting, you know, wanting us to play. So I'm excited about that. Cool, cool. Is there anything else you want to talk about? I would like to let people know that they can come visit me on Facebook. Uh, you can Google Lorraine Lewis or you can Google Lorraine Lewis Femme Fatale. Come visit me. I have a lot of pages. I have a Femme Fatale page. I have a Lorraine Lewis page, all that kind of stuff. I'm also on Twitter at, uh, at Lorraine Kicks. And uh, message me. I always respond to people within 24 hours. I've got T-shirts for sale. Um, and here's the latest break is breaking news is that the Femme Fatale CD will be on iTunes, available on iTunes and Amazon. And I am waiting for word on that right now. It should be up next week. So that's really exciting. I don't have to carry around a bunch of, uh, a bunch of CDs with me. Right. You can just go directly to iTunes and download. So that's exciting. Cool. So cool. after 25 years, finally, 
Femme Fatale on iTunes. There wasn't even <laughs> iTunes 25 years ago, though, right? Right, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that's that's pretty exciting. And people can also visit my website, LorraineCafe.com. So shout out to everybody. Thanks for digging what I do. Great. Stay great. tuned. Congratulations. Thanks, Brian. No problem. I'll talk to you later. Okay, hon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.